All right, guys, LB here. Um, so I just went to the Arizona Medical Weight Control Clinic. I'm actually sitting right out front of it now. And I got my first B12 shot, and it's supposed to, it was a Groupon I got, actually. It wasn't that expensive. $35 for a six-week program. It's they go ahead and they take your weight, they give you all your measurements, they give you what you're going to be eating. They don't give you the food, but they give you a list of things. Um, and then they give me two sets of pills. They have this one, which is considered a fat burner. Um, and then they have this one, which is Lipo BC. It looks huge. So I'm a little nervous about that. Um, supposedly, the one is considered an appetite suppressant, even though they have it listed elsewhere that um, the appetite suppressant is an actual appetite suppressant. So my group one stated that I was supposed to get one of those on top of the other things that literally listed it separately. And the office wants to tell me that it's not the same thing. That no, it's appetite suppressant for that list right there is actually stating, you know, it's part of this other one that you're already getting. So therefore it's not something separate. It's the same thing. But I'm like, why would they list three separate things, but two of them are the exact same thing. Why would you spend the extra money on the extra words and basically tell somebody you're giving them a suppressant when in your books, in your office, it shows an appetite suppressant is a completely different name for a pill and then yet still try to sell it off as another one. So I've contacted Groupon about that, saying it's their clinical error, not mine. It's listed as something different. I had one nurse in there tell me straight up that yes okay i've looked at your group and i showed it to her and everything she's like you're right you do get it there's a comma even before because it goes weight loss sup suppressant comma this pill comma and this pill so it shows that it's a completely different thing and that really irritates me so hopefully group one gets back to me and either they start giving it to me by next week it's a six week six week program or um hopefully they like I don't even reimburse me and let me have my six weeks or like something like that or just cut it off altogether. Hopefully they don't. I think I'd rather deal without it than to lose it altogether because I'm in a huge kick. I've been off of soda for three weeks now, which was very hard, especially the first week. Um, but this journey I'm hoping really helps me lose the weight and gets me going and hopefully you guys are able to see it too now my starting weight today was 236 which is heavy for a five foot person um but hopefully that drops down really fast and that the weight just starts slipping um i gave up fast food chocolate sweets and everything over this last weekend after i went camping with my family but i will keep you guys updated and in case my journey happens to be something you want to go on and you live in arizona i'll put a picture of this in there but this is where I went. Oh my gosh, it's backwards. It's not going to help anybody. Um, but yeah, so this is me telling you what's going on. And you know what? Just to give you guys the numbers, they gave me numbers that kind of make me sad and happy at the same time. Let's see here. Oh, here they are. Numbers. Okay. So the numbers are my weight is at 236. Um, the body mass index is 43.9 weeks. Um, body fat percentage is 56.8. My mm, skeletal muscle percentage is a 19.4. Um, if you guys want to know what the normal thing is supposed to be, you can either look it up or if you want to ask me, go ahead and leave a message in the boxes and I'll go ahead and get back to you and I'll, I'll go ahead and list everything for what the normal is supposed to be. Um, my resting metabolism is actually 1727 or 1727. I don't know how you're supposed to read that. Um, my visceral, visceral, whatever fat level is a nine. Um, it's the abdominal fat, I guess. And then my body age, this one shocked me. I was very excited about the number, but not when I realized it was my body age. But apparently my body age is 69. My body's age is six. I'm 29, not 69. So my body should not be, I mean, it explains why I feel so tired and I'm always achy all the time and everything, but yeah. So hopefully with the meal plans and they telling me what to eat and how often I should eat it and all that jazz, that something helps, something works. 
cross out so much food. But apparently I'm supposed to have meat or whatever like six times a day. Like what the fuck is that shit? Sorry. Um, but yeah. So um, come with me on my journey and let's see how well B12 shots and these extra pills work out for us. Okay guys? Alright. I'll keep you updated. I'll see you around. Let me know if you want to hear anything else or how often you watch your videos so I can keep you updated. Later. Yoot!